Hey YouTube, I'm here with Pastor Powell, and he's one of the Motorcycle Club members who helped put this together, him and three other ministers. So we're going to go ahead and hear from him about the event that they put together today. Well, one, uh, I'm the pastor over the Motorcycle Clubs in L.A. County. Nice. Uh, and my, my ministry is from San Diego all the way to Fresno. Okay. And because of the relationship that I have with Minister Tony, the clubs have honored and so blessed that they have become part of this movement, which is what it is. Mm -hmm. This is not just an event. This is just not a party. This is not about the motorcycles or the cars or the musicians. It's about the lives that we're trying to save. Right. It's about the children. It's about the children that made it home today mm -hmm. that wouldn't have normally made it home. Right. It's about the murderer that stayed home today mm -hmm. that wouldn't have normally stayed home. Right. It's about the mothers and the fathers who won't have to cry tonight because of this movement. And my prayer is, is that everyone in the communities that we go to, that they grab a hold of the vision of what this movement is all about. That we go back to that old adage where it says, it takes... So we love one to violence, let's pray. It's to raise a child, it takes a village to protect a child. Right. Back in the day when I was coming up, the whole community knew who you were. Exactly. And and if you were where you weren't supposed to be, mm -hmm. that grandmother on the corner right. would whoop your behind, take you home, and then you'd get it again. Right. There were repercussions. There's no more repercussions. Exactly. Right. With with the way things are now with the pressures that our youth are going through now with drugs and sex and, and just all the, the, what the TV and movies are presenting to them which are making their lifestyles okay with their aren't okay we as parents we as community leaders we as fathers and mothers we need to step to the plate for these young people that don't have fathers, that don't have mothers. Right. You know, I, I mean, true enough, we got fatherless children, but we got some motherless children, too. And kids raising themselves, exactly. you know, being left to their own devices all day. Exactly. Uh, I call them TV children. Right. You know, mothers say, go watch TV. Right. Get out of my hair. Go watch TV. Well, you're running them from your guidance to the street. Right. And the street doesn't have anything to offer them, but... What? But death, right. Death and jail time. So that's, that's why I do what I do. Plus, I got involved in 2000, 2002. A dear friend of mine, one of my church sisters and my, my God sister, she was talking to her son on the telephone. He was around the corner, and he was calling her from a phone booth, and he said, uh, I'm getting some soda. I'll be home in a minute. And she said, well, you hurry up and get home because, you know, they're doing those drive-by initiation killings. Before he hang up, hung up the phone, she heard the gunfire through the phone and then over the rooftop. That got to me. There's so many stories like that. But what, what made me say enough was enough was another co-worker from the same job. Her son was at a park practicing basketball, minding his own business. Two gangbangers walked up to him, asked him, what set are you with? He said, man, I'm, I'm not with that. When he said, I'm not with that, they shot him in his left eye, took the left eye completely. And then the bullet went out behind his right eye, just nicking the optic optic nerve. And he's now partially blind in his right eye. And he was a basketball phenom. And, and that moment, I said, enough was enough. So for four or five years after that, I did a thing called uh, Bikers Against Violence. 
And the very first one I ever did, Minister Tony was the major speaker. Okay, nice. And so we didn't see each other for another 10 years after that, and then it just came full circle. Nice. So now we're back together. We're running this. We're, we're actually, he's the head. He's he's the head of this whole thing. And God has blessed me and allowed me to partner with him and to, to be part of this movement that's going to bring some relief to our communities and that's what I'm praying for I'm praying that young ladies like you that have that have young ladies that look up to you that you can tell them you know violence isn't the way you know a it's kind. not glamour it's not Hollywood and that's what I'm trying to tell people to, to realize you know since coming out here to LA like this is the real LA you know it's not when we're in the Midwest or in other states we think of Hollywood but this is the real LA there's nothing glamorous about death there's nothing glamorous about getting shot joining a gang prostitution all that is Hollywood it's a and, and and death is not prejudice. Right. Bullets aren't prejudice. They don't care who they kill. You know what I mean? Uh, I mean, if we don't come together and as a people, as a community, brothers and sisters, white, black, red, brown, if we don't come together and say enough is enough, then our, because our youth, our youth are an endangered species. Right. And we need to take them off the endangered list. You know, whatever it is. I mean, mothers, if you need to keep your children home, okay, they cry, they get mad, so what? Right. They're there to see another day. So, so what? Fathers, if your son get mad at you because you won't let him run the street in the middle of the night, so what? Right. You know, I mean, I would rather, I would rather my son live and be mad as heck at me than him like me and he end up dead. And that's the issue that I'm saying. We have too many parents who want to be friends. They want to be the cool parent. Exactly. And then it's always a cool parent at the funeral crying, and they don't right. understand why. Right. Well, you've been letting your child run the streets since they was 11. Right. You know, and now I done caught up to them. So right. we got to start being parents. And 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 we have to be community-minded. We have to be actually community leaders. Right. You know, fathers, If even if you're not a natural father, you can father somebody. Mothers that don't have children can mother somebody, teach young ladies how to be young ladies and not what everybody else is calling them. So that's why I do what I do. Well, we appreciate it. And this was a wonderful event. It was my first time here. And it was a blessing to meet you, Minister Tony. I got to speak with Big Boy. And so many people were involved in bringing this together. And I just think it's just a wonderful thing. I really wanted to showcase this for my YouTube audience to let them know that this is the real L.A. This is what L.A. is about. It's not all that Hollywood glamour stuff. It's regular people trying to make a difference, trying to do something positive, trying to stop the violence, you know, and... and bring something out here for the community and for the kids to look forward to you know because it, it, it's hard out here so we thank you for that we thank and you for you that are watching this let me say something to you it takes one to save one the child's life that you save the child's life that you step to the plate for just might be your own so be careful what you say. Be careful what you speak into the atmosphere because your words have power. Life and death are in the power of the tongue. So love your children, love your mothers, your fathers, your uncles, your aunties. Be mindful of them because you never know. And on that note, I want to thank you so much for taking time out to talk to my audience. And thank you for putting this event together. Oh, I really appreciate it. God be the glory. You thank know? you. And again, I can only give the credit to our leader, Minister Tony Muhammad, um, who has been just a rock right. through this whole thing. You know what I mean? Right. So I, 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 I give praise to God for him. You know, Thank you. So. And hopefully this will spread across the country. You know, more people get involved. Well, like you said, you we're know. going to be going to Chicago, Detroit okay. next year. Good. It's a 16-city tour. Good. And what we're hoping is as we go, mm -hmm. more will join. the bikers, as we go through the different cities and the different states, the bikers will join us Good. and travel with us, right. you know what I mean, until we get to Chicago. Uh, um, I, I, I'm excited about that move. I'm excited that we as a people have decided that, you know, it's not good to kill our children. It's not good to kill our own. It's not good. 
you know, so, but uh, I want to invite those of you next month, we have a peace ride every fourth Sunday of the month, pay attention to Facebook, pay attention to your email, come to uh, upfest.org, ride through our, our pages, and we'll have information there for the next pages, but the next month, it's coming out on Facebook. And uh, we're looking forward to having a great time. All right, great. All right. So on that note, thank you so much once right, again. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you. it. God bless you, too.